Power BI visuals have tooltips turned on by default, but they replicate the data that's already available in the chart. In this video, Phil is going to show you a couple of ways you can create your own custom tooltips, including tooltips that contain a chart showing a drill down view of the data. They're pretty cool. When you hover your mouse pointer over an element in a visual like the columns in this clustered column chart, you get a default tooltip appear. As you can see, it's showing me the region, the year, and the revenue for the selected column. This isn't necessarily the most useful information that I'd like to see in the tooltip, and you can create custom tooltips, which is exactly what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to start by creating a tooltip for this revenue by country and year chart. You can see the default tooltip shows me the country, the year, and the revenue for the selected column. I think the country is pretty obvious because you can see it at the bottom of the visual. And in this case, I'm not that bothered about seeing the year because I can see it in the legend. So I just want to see the revenue for each column. The first step in creating a tooltip is to add a new page. So I'll click on the plus icon here and create a new page. Then in the view menu, set the page view to actual size. And over here in the formatting, I'm going to change the page information and give it a name. I'm going to call it tooltips TT dash revenue. And I want to turn on allow use as tooltip in the canvas settings. Now you can choose the size of the tooltip. There's some default settings here, 16943 letter tooltip and custom. So the tooltip itself has a specified size, but I'm going to go with a custom and I'm going to make it 120 pixels high. Leave the width at 320. Now to show the revenue, I need to add a card visual. And I'll just stretch that over here. And then I'm going to add the sale total into the fields. And just rearrange this so it fully fits the canvas. Now I don't want the category label. Turn that off. And then back with the visual selected. Over here under the visualizations, there's an area called tooltip. Any field dragged into here receives this new card visual as its tooltip. So if I put country in here, and as you can see, I can selectively apply this tooltip to whatever countries I want, but I'm going to leave it for all countries and then flick back to the main page of the visuals. Now when I hover over a column for a particular country, I just see my new tooltip, which shows me the revenue for that particular year in that country. That's a simple example, but you're not limited to simple things like numeric values. You can actually include images or other visuals. So let's look at doing something a bit more exciting. Going back to the visual at the top here, revenue by region and year, I'd actually like my tooltip to show me maybe a breakdown of the countries within each of those columns. So for North America, I see the breakdown for Canada and the United States. For Europe, you'd give me a breakdown for Great Britain, France and Germany, and Pacific would be Australia and New Zealand. Basically what I want is the bottom visual popping up as a tooltip for the top visual. I need to create another page for this new tooltip, so let's add one of those. And over here, I'm going to change the page information and call this TT or Tooltip Countries and set it to allow use as a tooltip. Now, under here, the canvas settings, I'm going to use the actual defined or the predefined tooltip size. But before I set that, let's just go back to give me a large canvas because what I want to do is grab this visual, copy it, control C, and then back here, paste that in. As this visual is going to be a tool tip for the revenue by region and year, I don't want to include redundant data. So things like the year in the legend can go. So let's turn off the legend and I don't need the title on the Y axis or the title on the x-axis and I'm just going to get rid of the overall title as well. Now I'll just shrink this up. Now if I set the size of the canvas to tooltip, I'll just make this wide enough to 
fit across. And I'm just going to leave that for now because I'm going to come back and add some more bits later. But back here now on the main page, I've still got the default tooltip on this top visual. So I'll show you another way to set the custom tooltip for this. Under Format Your Visual in general, come down to Tooltips, and then change the type to Report Page, and choose the name of the page. I want TT Countries. Now when I hover over these columns, I see a breakdown for each of the countries in that region and their contribution to the total revenue for that particular year. Now I think it would be useful to actually include that figure for the revenue, so let's go back to the Countries Tooltip page and add a card. And I'll just drag this around to make it fit properly. And what I want is the sale total. And I don't want the category label, turn that off. Now I'll go back to my main page and now my tooltip is showing me the revenue total as well as the breakdown for each of the countries in the region. Perhaps one more thing that could be useful, you can leave it off if you like, but let's just add the year in. To display the year, I'm gonna use another card visual. So I'm just gonna select the one I've got here already. Control C, copy, Control V, paste, and then just drag this up. Put it in the top right, make it really small. Change the font size. Let's bring this down to say 15. And I don't want the sale total, I want the year. And I don't want the count of the year. I want, I'll choose minimum, you've got to choose some aggregation and when I'm hovering over the other visual the tooltip's just going to be showing me the data for one particular year so min will work as the aggregation here just make it nice and small okay back on the main page now when I hover I've got my year, I've got my breakdown for the countries and I've got the total revenue for those countries for that particular year so custom tool tips in Power BI, I've been using Power BI desktop here, but the process is virtually the same in Power BI service. Creating custom tool tips is really powerful, really handy, and can help you show more relevant information in your tool tips. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the Power BI file for this lesson from the link here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.